They might now, because they're also checking what an active round for the CTs already. And from the T side as well, Nico starts us up under the headshot. He needs a fourth and he'll get it. Oh my God. We are off to a hot start. The last one is Modesty. They don't have a lot of incentive to do anything apart from just stall this out, buy some time. That's a hell of a flashbang. They were coming for the smoke to try and beat it. Oh. <laughs> well, there is another player on the server. That there is this single player defending lower in Nico. He's changed up his position from the previous round. And it looks like we'll make contact with Simple, but oh no. What is this? Simple with three in the round already. They'll be able to find a bomb plant. And G2, they're scrambling. Now he's very low on health, luckily for them. So this should come to an end eventually. Just because he's well, out in the open, like you saw, couldn't really have the health to get any long fight in. So he's still alive and the bomb is planted. Or awkward position for the CT side. A nice couple of headshots through the window from Hunter will make sure that doesn't become a problem, but... But only Electronic knows at present. And it does actually seem like they're going for ramp where two members from G2 wait. This is a tough crossfire to deal with, Ooh. but that might open things up for a bit getting that frag. Puts a lot of pressure on the ramp all of a sudden, and they have a, a lot to deal with already. Oh, the crossfire is working out great. JKS will follow it up. A nice one, two, and even a three combination coming in there with JKS getting the last one. It does seem like Nico wants to peek right over it. This could catch Navi off guard. I'm curious how this will play. Yeah, he's looking on top. He's got such a great view. A couple of quick kills. But at this point, I, I wouldn't be mad at Navi for just opting for the save. Okay, wait, that, that might be the answer. Navi have a way to try to convert here. He wasn't just hoping for the gift, he was he was manifesting it outside. <laughs> Nico walked into it. NPL trying to crouch under that one, but Hunter coming up with a double to seal the round. 15 seconds left, and Hooksy still holding on to that MP9. Yeah, towards the vent instead. That's so quick. They were pulling out the windows in T-spawn and just threw it right away. Nico's gonna get wow. one, and the follow-up is just a good educated guess to take down bits and hunter is there to make sure that nobody's going to make the dive down so yeah a bit of a roll of the dice in this one for navi probably hoping that some of the early pressure towards mini and vent would have you know maybe created more chaos on the g2 side but that's not the case right now nico is locked in navi not exactly excited about this I mean, there were some asterisks being put up at the beginning of it with npl maybe not playing this map so much and navi getting him into the fit at the moment a good trade from simple though and he's still fighting left and right. He knows there's one more downstairs, oh. and Perfecto will finally be there to help out. Otherwise, I think there was a footstep too. Monacy might have heard that. Might be keyed on, onto an angle, and Hunter taking down Perfecto leaves just simple. He has one kill to his name. He does know where Monacy is, and he's able to take him down. 35 seconds left, retrieves the bomb. Hunter again, try and gamble it. Simple is looking, Hunter's probably already dead, but he's gonna have a, maybe one shot at doing this. Walking straight out into the whole way of the spray is there. Simple to win the one versus two against Monacy and Hunter. And finally, going for one of those aggressive peaks. We've loved what he's been doing lately. Ever since Hooksy joined the lineup, he's been just going for these so vigorously. And Nico is there to connect with him. Two openers for G2. They you hear the M4 go off up by the container, and you are not expecting to get a peek by an AWP. That's a two in one shot. Oh! oh no! <laughs> He just didn't even face him. Probably more about self-preservation at this point. Try to do a little bit of economic damage. Okay, we're gonna find a kill on Hooksy there. But that will be it. All right, sixth round for G2. Navi, they had to construct. What, four Tech Nines and a Deagle on the side of Navi. But they're once again pushed back, and this last round was their real opportunity to, to, to crunch the economy on the G2 side. They didn't have any money left on the CT side. So if Navi would have won the previous round, they would have had a much easier time. And they just can't quite do it. So G2 are going to be very... And they're running out of rounds even to do that. This is about to be 7-1. to one. See what Hunter's able to accomplish here. Taking down Simple and NPL still not on the board. It's not looking good. Because <laughs> he can always stand above the rest. All right. This is a good position for Nico, though. Could be, especially because they only have one Molotov and they don't want to use it for this one. So he's going to get that one almost for free. But look at the rest of the team, even. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No one's even close. Oh, oh. Go. Well, Hunter wants to catch up. Double kill for him there. Even in a five on four, they're willing to push the issue. It catches teams off guard so frequently. NPL finally finds his first. 
30 seconds though, and it might be too little too late for the rest of Navi, but oh, okay, a second kill from NPL. That was looking pretty snappy. We're seeing the individual skill from the youngster, but it's gonna be very tough to break whatever it is G2 are doing. All right, some utility out. A exec is there for Navi, but only a single player out. But Bit actually able to chime in with one, pushing on forward. The Angles are taken away from G2. Very weird round for Navi to finally get a bomb plant, but whatever it takes, I suppose, at this point in time, they desperately need it. I just said they might not have a chance again, but if they win this one, I'll take it back. The electronic with a tech nine to drop TKS. And now there's a real shot at it. They just have to get through Nico and Monacy. And already, that's in full effect. Simple's gonna get a headshot there. Oh. Quick shot, he jumps close and simple. There to meet him. And there's still a great opportunity for them to have a respectable half. Oh, look at this cool lobby crunch. It's a new classic. Perfecto, though, one of the hardest players, I think, to fool with something like that. He just always seems to be aware of his surroundings. At the start of a round like that. So well played in taking down Hooksy. But those lobby crunches are so lethal. And he gets, wow, he actually what? gets shut down. Anyway, Nico, he took the liberty, the space on the map to crawl onto the T-roof, which in itself is a massive risk. And then he got the shot. Simple's gonna be taking down Monacy and Hunter. Just his head showing here. Molotov maybe to try and buy some time. JKS getting in the taps on the outside. And another headshot here for the Australian player. They're like, ah, we'll just, we'll just keep it going. We'll just more, more push pressure. up the ladder. That's so sick. It, that, that's supposed to be a free kill for anyone that's waiting. Okay, doors open. Monacy though blinded. And Hooksy, oh, okay, there's too much utility this time. Navi, they tried for that A play once again, but they're still fighting back into this. Eventually he did go down. Navi trying to see if they can put some pressure on the ramp. Good jump by. It's so nice to have someone you can bait into those kind of angles. And then JKS just couldn't follow the spray through the AKs there to follow it up. Nico goes down after the single kill. So what you don't know yet. This is a coin flip, but it looks like it's going to be Hooksy. Absolutely disgusting timing so far. He's going to be takedown perfecto in 35 seconds. Good headshot, but Pit has no idea that Hunter is right there. And he still almost wins the fight. High pressure scenario all of a sudden perfecto. Is the rest of the team doing anything? He's Ooh. occupying a lot of the team right here. So it feels like Navi somewhere else has to do something. He goes down almost for free. G2, they can recover. They should be able to put this together, but no, actually, they just walk right out the door and end Electronic and NPL pull off two frags. I thought G2 was gonna recover right there, but... Honestly, you think a flash or anything like that would be enough? There's at least the trigger, but you can't catch him. And Nico, <laughs> here's the trap. Bit was looking for it, but he wasn't quite ready for the fight. Under a minute now, and Modesty's moved back with the AWP, and that's a shot he's not gonna miss. They've been here before, and they weren't able to crush that economy, and now here we are again. It looks like G2 are going to get away with it one more time, and that'll be a huge part of the story for how this nuke map has played out so far. It's just the continuation of the econ economy game for G2. The inability for Navi to string together consecutive rounds, but they're still looking to attempt this one. The Molly's there, NPL's trying to find the spam. It's him and Perfecto, they gotta bring this one back. NPL, he's actually able to deal with Bonacy, but there's just too many bodies on the bomb site. They actually are able to find those openers. And just working on that new lineup, so I'm not too concerned. Bonacy with the opening again, this time it's simple. So heavy loss for Navi to lose him early on in this 15th round. They are in so much trouble, Nico. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing so far. Force those fights, which can be hard to do on, this, on the CT side, but they're doing it in, I mean, the yard of nuke at the moment. Three versus five, 50 seconds left, and Monacy, shallow peak coming up from Electronic, but because this kid on the other side is so oh. lightning fast, it doesn't even matter. He's gonna hit the shot anyway. Perfect till the last one left, and only question is, how do you want to go down, Nico or Monacy? He'll pick Nico. That positive reinforcement goes a long way. It does. Just teach him, even if. Oh, <laughs> keep it going, Nico. Come on, come on. Oh, he does one more time. Yes. Another headshot. You must be kidding. It's simple and pitiful. <laughs> He's just done it again. <laughs> Man, this guy, he wants the pistol crown. He's already smiling in the middle of the round. <laughs> Why that smile on your face? Oh. oh, he's out hunting. That's pure greed, but you have Ooh. to you have to let him do it. That is so stupid. Oh. oh no. Okay, well Bit wants a chance. Took a bite, but huge bite back. Okay. Yeah. Alright, there we, we go. 13th round for G2. ADR. He has over double what a good game is, a solid game for other people. Might have a chance to collect some more damage here. Even got shot in the butt by his teammate, but that didn't slow him down. 
Okay. A, little, a little slap to keep him going. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. And he is taking the same spot STY had. This is already a big challenge for him, though, as they are executing into his sight, and he is passing the first test. Two kills with the FAMAS, but there are still G2 players trying to breach this bomb site. JKS finding two of his own, and Perfecto on top of the hut, able to close things out along with Bit. Good counter utility, too. Something to be happy about. Look forward to the future. Okay, electronic. Great damage. And Nico, who was really just controlling all of outside in the previous half, won't have a chance this time. There's a long history with electronic and the smokes out in the yard here in a bunch of different. I was a little bit disappointed we didn't see any of it in the first half at all. No. But he has this walking through the smokes and yard hiss, and it's so sick to watch. So I hope we get that back. It's a good round for him. Third kill as he takes down JKS. A little bit of a boost over, but perfecto. Pretty quick for the reactions, and he's going to be taking down Monacy. It's about to be five rounds for Navi. Yeah, we'll see if Hooksy's able to find anything, but no, not going to happen. There are already three players from Navi down there. The only thing that could make the... But sometimes, actually, teams, especially in this kind of format, where it's this group stage, they might actually not want to go too deep into their playbook. They might actually want to hide strats, so they just kind of keep defaulting. I've seen teams that are up at this much just go for default, 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 and then eventually right. someone just wins an individual fight, it's a right. second kill, and then they win the game. So, okay, it doesn't matter what pistol this guy's got, huh? He got the one, which is mandatory for him. He's like, I need, that's my quota. Actually might play around this timing here. These smokes are landing, and he might just sneak right in. Oh, no, okay. Second round now in a row that Electronic just finds that much damage. Through. Very safe way to take that jump as you kind of curve the, you sort of stop the arc of the jump a little bit and you get down to the ground a little bit earlier. Booksy and JKS both go down and it's a flawless round out of Navi. 14. Probably wants a little bit more action. He recognizes that he's warmed up into the server now, but he just needs more fights. So, we'll be looking for him. Okay. Love that. One shot, one kill. Looking for more, another headshot for Electronic. Yeah, he's definitely feeling it at this point. This is becoming a little bit more worrying more quickly. When Nico uh, unfolded all the chaos in the second half pistol, Electronic was smiling and I feel that could, you, could, you can also, they need to keep this up, Navi. They've had a good run at the start of the second half. This is pretty impressive. They were almost getting pushed out of new, but one slip up, one mistake, and it could be done. Vector's not gonna be making any, many mistakes at all. And JKS, he'll still be able to find that one. Electronic showing up and he's deadly accurate, but Monacy, he's up for the task. Three on three, NPL on the back, getting put to the test once again. And his crosshair oh. was not ready for it. Follow-up headshot for Monacy, leaves simple. Down top of the garage, they can push in through the door, they could follow that push up. It all came together, it was a, lit, a bit slow, and I think that caught Navi off guard. I think it caught NPL off guard. They need seven in a row, so yeah, Electronic out here in the yard. He's so close, he must be able to see just the elbow and the crouch in is there, but Nico just as accurate on the other side. But simple, he's in all the right places at the moment. That's the smoke. Great oh. use of it, a hooksy on the opening, perfecto. Double spray down, maybe to try and save the day here for Navi. If not for that, they might have already lost it here. Four seconds left, and they can't see a thing. The bomb is going to get planted, even if Simple comes in with the punishment afterwards. JKS now on his own to try and win this one for G2, Ooh. and he can't get the job done. NPL, labored spray. They've got Simple in the ramp, and that gives them a, a little bit more space to move players out and around. <laughs> he's, so, he's just as quick ready for this A defense, and the nades, they're flying out for G2. They have to start their hit now. They're actually going for the vent dive, though. This is a bit surprising, because it only actually nets a single player down towards that lower site, but Simple is already lying in wait. There's so little time left. Hunter can't even even justify committing for this, because yeah. they know you're there, so he doesn't even want to actually... That's going to be fun when it gets there, if it does. They have to still win in the five rounds oh. in a row when Nico running through with the AK. He's taken it on upon himself to just try and see if he could close it right now. 31 kills on him, no time wasted. Instant bomb plant, grenade on top of Simple, and with JKS stabbing in the back with a MAC-10, that is absolutely lethal. What a call. G Electronic couldn't repeat the success of prior rounds, just spamming them right through the smoke blindly, and now he's forced into such a tough situation along with his partner in crime, Perfecto. They've done a great job clawing this one back, but it will not be enough. G2 closes out 16 to 10. So 
Oh no, sorry, it was actually the Mahone smoke. The one he showed actually in the Mahone zone. It was. They don't have to worry about pit. They're gonna be jumping into it. And there's the headshot one from OC, one from Nico. And as the most aesthetically pleasing. It's a very good take as an analyst to make to make statements like that because you can't really no one can really argue with that. True. It's it's subjective in nature, but it also uh, and there it is the flash. But oh no, he didn't swing. There were two white screens, but swings after. Wow, that's incredibly off meta from Electronic, and it comes back to bite him. Just going for the dry swing. Simple's here on the rotation, but the smoke will cut off his sight lines. And it's dangerous for him to jump to look over. That could also obviously expose him to electronics. So, oh, oh. just enough. I can't believe it. I'm not even sure what he spotted there. Probably an arm, but that's actually going to activate G2. They're pressing into the bomb site now. Nico finds the double entry off the back of the assist from Hooksy, and that's Navi priced out of this round. Maybe especially as simple with this AWP. We saw the Mahone was talking about the flashes you could throw into the pit right here. If one of those land, you might be in trouble, but before it even gets close, it's another flashbang and an MP9 that sets up a beautiful double for Electronic, and they take that all away from G2. They thought they were setting up on the B bomb side. In fact, they where G2 are likely trapped behind all those smokes, and then the perfect flash setup is there. Electronic able to pick up two, even with the weakened gun. A re rerun. I've seen this exact thing happen last round, Anders. Round but they're going faster. They're going yeah. much faster. Way quicker this time before that MP9 shows up. Simple. He's flashed, but not enough. He can still see. Oh, see. Oh, what? what? <laughs> hey, that's absolutely sick. A good couple of headshots, and it's a little bit passive. This time, they're changing it into a one force setup at the end of it. So this A bomb site's about to be very well defended. And a slow down from Bit with the kill. Simple takes one of them through the smoke. It's Hooksy to go down. So maybe there is a chance for a defense, even if NPL is tacked up. Bit, he's doing his best to play hide and seek down in the pit. But Navi is still not too aggressive in fighting this. They're happy to hang back, throw some more nades. The second one is devastating. Molotov's on oh. top, and a third will bring down Nico. That is thing. So then Electronic playing the anti-flash position. It could be that there's going to be a flash oh. from JKS. Oh, wow. Here we go. Let's see. Electronic pushing forward, and he's going to find Hooksy. I think JKS was down there, although he doesn't have a nade, so maybe not. Spray can't be continued, but Perfecto, he can't escape right now. Just a grenade. He still picks up one more kill, and that is huge. If not for that, it's a two-on-two -two with a... He doesn't even really try it. There we go. Now, I think it's over. If they run him down, he cannot win the round. NPL will be the one to get rid of him. No bomb plant either, and Navi. And similarly, all, of, all the, the A bomb side. If he gets tested again, that could be a problem. Though G2... They're in it for the banana control. Run through Nico with the headshot on Electronic, and he nearly could have had Simple on top, it looked like. Back up his miles away. No one's rotating out of B. It's just going to be down to this crossfire hold. MPL, it's a great start. That's all the attention, and that opens it up for Bit. So now they're just trading kills, and they might have done enough here. 18 seconds left. That is so scary, though. If that first kill doesn't go the way of MPL, then the rest of the site will very likely fall behind it. But MPL and Bit... He's just getting shut down in most of these banana takes. It's been tough for them to find anything at all. Oh, whoa. No. Leg shot and Monacy will be able to run him down. Bit, you can't go down. You have to stay alive. You're the only defender at the bomb site. This is critical. He's going to put out smoke behind him, but they're just coming from Monacy. Oh. stolen the AWP, and you'll find a kill on Electronic. Nico with the headshot. Bit is still fighting for the team inside, and finally... He is yes, just absolutely stealing it away. One leg shot, and then the running pistol coming out from Monacy. He steals the AWP, gets another one, and then Nico's there to follow it up. This is so disgusting, but at the same time, a poor position for Navi when he's able to take that space away. Yeah, risky to try and challenge him, but nice jump up electronic. A failed smoke. Low time to try to close this one out. What do they even do? You're absolutely right. Already, you can see 26 seconds. Simple able to find Hooksy. They're gonna try and, you know, they need to fight, win this fight right now. And the crossfire setup here, maybe you check one of these angles, surely you don't check both, especially when an electronic is this far forward. This is so well played. Navi, they read what's coming and they don't just passively wait by. We're under 40 seconds as they try to make their way through. They don't have a lot to work with here. So this will come down really to the entries. Hooksy's almost escaped through the smoke. Monacy goes down next and Perfecto. It's a really important double kill, even if Nico finally finds that AWP shot all the way in the back. And they do have oh. a... Oh, wait a minute. 
That's a nice shot. I was going to say they have a Molotov to get rid of him back here, but yeah, and the Molotov's not going to touch him. He's already moved out of there. Two on three. The flash is good. Stolen. Oh, they can't even get any rifles. That's the problem. If only Hunter could have got that, it would have been different, but 18 seconds left in Perfecto. He's calling. He's on the microphone right now saying, yeah, they're definitely coming. Down to 12 seconds. They can't waste any more time, G2, and they won't. JKS finds a second headshot, and this is a great two-for-one trade getting into it. Attempted retake there from Simple, but that is blown up, and I'm a little bit surprised Navi is still pushing for this. It seems like it's impossible. Two on four. They've been so selective in which... He's already on it. He has the time for... Wait, Monacy, he's turned around. He's looking for it. He has to run it, and he saves <laughs> the day. Oh! Ooh. Just being licked by that Molotov, and there is a beautiful flash. No, Electric doesn't commit to it, actually. Still recognizes his position, and somehow it's NPL that is able to find the kill. So... Electric. Yeah, they're calling a bit of a hold right now. Wait a minute, maybe not. Hunter's flashed his oh. way through, and that's a god flash. Taken down Electronic, but there's still another player here, and they were not ready, at least not for him to be up that close. JKS is going to walk right into the shot, leaves Hooksy on his own. He'll get the kill, and at least he'll get the bomb plant. He goes straight for it. They don't have any nades, and neither does he. So it's all down to the mechanics at this point. Simple, trying to check all the angles. Getting shot in the back, though, and now the pressure is on Bit. He's going to kick, but I'm not sure that helps right now. He's just going to try and not fake it. He's going all in on this one. Hoopsie hoping to jiggle oh, it out, and in the last second... No! It was Navi! He got the defuse anyway! Time that so well, too. You could see him counting in his head, and... No time to count now, though. What the? Monacy right through the side of that wall. And G2 are brute forcing their way into this bomb site with numbers, with impressive shots. And in the server, but they've really cooled him down from what we saw on Nuke, and that in itself is impressive. Electronic, nice boost over, but it also reveals Perfecto. They know exactly where he is, and he's never going to be able to escape this one. Good headshot, eight to seven, in a world of his own with this pistol. So let's just see if we could do it again. He's alone right now. There's no one here to help him out. There's one headshot, but you know more could be coming. They're trying to get rid of him, and that's great. That's how they got rid of him in the opening half here. Smoke might not be enough here. It's a defuse, and straight up banana comes the retake for G2. They're not slowing this down, Perfecto, though. Good Glock shot to bring down Monacy, and now they're getting a bit closer. Hooksy, he wanted that defuse, and now he's back in the second round here for second half to try and get some revenge. NPL, one versus three, and Hooksy will hunt him down triple here for the Danish captain of the team. He must also have a feeling that it's always going to be worth it for him to throw himself in there because he can get information, and he's got such firepower behind him Yes. that if they get the information, they're going to be even better than he is at that. Nice push oh, yeah. down the middle. It's Hunter to take down MPL and Simple. It's a very, very aggressive second round coming up here from G2. Trying to... Take some damage here. Not actually able to even tag Hooksy. Hooksy feels pretty invincible right about now. Yep. And they come back to... Probably mentally think about the the depth of banana in that car, and then suddenly it's dead, it's the MP9 up the wall. Super frustrating when you've got a mental picture about fighting a long-range battle, and then when you come back a little bit later, it's actually up close. That's a T CT side flash that came out to the corner of Arch. Oh, wow. 20 seconds, and Hooksy's pushing up. So is Nico. Navi, they think they're about to attack the bomb site, but instead they are getting shot in the back, and panic's gonna be at an all-time high for Navi right now. Monacy spraying them down a triple. Navi, they are having a tough time here putting T-side rounds together. I was a little bit surprised there wasn't a timeout after that round because I'm sure if you're Blade and you're watching that and you're seeing that the first engagement repair a lot of these things with MPL, more time that he's going to be in the team, I'm sure the better it'll be. 18 seconds, good smoke, good flash out into that lane. And that's a long range for Nico, but he's still going to find a shot. Good trade as well. And this... Round is slowly just gonna peter out. That's that's worrying. And Monacy, he does. He definitely does. He's pushing on forward right there with Nico. Monacy wall banks banging simple out of the server, and Nico just keeps pushing. This guy does not care if you are set up. He doesn't care how many people you have towards Banana. He wants the numbers are actually not here for, for G2. Yeah. That, that might be the saving grace for Navi. It's a crossfire between just a couple players, Hunter and JKS. They gotta hold on right now, and it looks like they'll be able to do so. JKS finds one, a second, and Electronic, he's already priced himself out of this round. Six HP. Yes, doubts it. It's probably gone. Though. Right. All right. A lot of details. AK in the hand of Electronic, some pistols oh. for the rest of them, and again, the aggression is out, and it's not just Hunter. Jake, after a timeout like that, actually, we'll see. Can Simple figure this one out? This is an interesting position for JKS. No, just not going to clear that angle. 
Never going to expect somebody there. But but you're going to see this a lot in higher level CS games when a team is ahead, the team is trying to come back into it, the, the team with less rounds calls the timeout. This is still looking very promising. Hunter turned around for the flash in the middle, but with him and uh, JKS on the other side, this is a three-way crossfire, a four-way crossfire in oh. fact, and it's blowing them up. Wallbang onto Bit to take him down in simple and perfecto. And it, it actually feels like this, this team has really found their stride. Wait a minute. There oh. could be a way back, maybe. No. Honestly, put to the test oh, in the no. corner, and he couldn't get another shot off. Two on four into a two on two. As Perfecto and Simple will open it back up. Already a lot of time off the clock, but at least Nico does have a defuse kit. So there is maybe a chance to get the job done, but not when Simple's hitting the shot. And actually, Perfecto picked up the second AWP. For even more credit, I mean, people people voted him, the, I think, the, the anchor of the year. Nice. That seems justified. Barreling through behind the flashes, through the smoke. And that allows G2 to set back into this defense. And that might be a fatal mistake for Na'Vi. There are a couple players here, but no, simple. He's able to get the jump onto Hunter. What could be four or five players doesn't make a lot of sense. Monacy is going to be sneaking in. And if you catch the timing on Perfect, so that's a kill. But that should also be the springboard moment for the rest of Na'Vi to say, all right, let's just go. Electronic runs straight into it, and JKS, he wants to be the hero here. Falling back into the site, oh. tapping away, and he does get the shot on bit. That is an insane performance. I thought he was going to be dead right away. Two versus two now. Want to see a Nico. Yeah, they do. Bomb is only spotted. Simple, though. He seems to have got his hands on that AWP. Might be able to find that opener versus NPL. Oh, beautiful jiggle from NPL there. Recognizing that's an option for an opposing opera. Now, bit able to take down JKS going for the push and on a knife's edge. Hunter is so close to finding an opportunity here. Now decides this is time to peek, but NPL was holding the line. Good, but it never was. And so he just waited and waited, and that's all he needed to do. And now everything unravels for G2. They have no position. They have nothing to work with. Their position, untenable. The apartments there, when everyone else is starting to show up for Na'Vi, because it's very easy what can happen, almost this diffusion of responsibility. If you've got a lot of people in the area, everyone else just assumes that someone else is probably covering. They still got a buy for us here. Flurry of nades towards this side, and NPL comes out on top, but Nico brings it back. Two kills for him, even tags Simple on the jump spot there. Simple wants this fight, and he is able to take him down. So it's Honestly, it's a very compromised position. He, even if he hits a shot here, he's probably dead anyway. Yeah, well, not even gonna get a chance. Bit will take him down. Yeah, and I think that G2 are just playing back here. They they recognize, too, that their utility isn't too strong. You can't really fight for too much map control effectively. Nico trying to take some pot shots there through the smoke. When but... that many rifles are on the other side and all you have is the Deagle inside, I don't think this crossfire should be enough to stop this at all. 30 seconds, a little bit of a smoke coming out. That's interesting, but they're going to find the kill immediately. The bomb, that's very oh. awkward. I want to spray for Hunter as well. He takes down NPL, 20 seconds. And if you get Monacy and JKS into a position, there's a gap in the what? smoke. That's so what? strange, simple. Nobody guarding him. That's like what could be a devastating mistake for Na'Vi. Electronic is now in the back here, and they know it as well. No grenades, but it doesn't matter. JKS has shown up to play in the game. He's got 17 kills. That's odd, and G2 are pretty happy about that. Really feels like they stole one there, but they're going to take this one. Nico has banana. Simple couldn't really have swung against that. He also steps on a grenade, so four on five to start the round. <laughs> okay, fine. That's great. Take Nico down through the smoke and behind the wooden play back there. It's electronic to go down next, and the pressure is on. Hunter here to help out, even as Monacy will miss the shot. It's Simple and NPL, and they are not even aware. Oh. Hunter, that's a huge misstep. He walked right into it. Simple's creeping up. Monacy's on the other side, and the timing betrays him. He's going to get dropped, and Hoxie is going to try and underhand that smoke. They all train at the corner. Nice pre-fire. And he's quick with the spin. There's a chance now. But again, the position is so dangerous. Hoopsie, he has to hit this headshot right now. It has to be a one-click, and NPL's playing with him down there. Time is running out, and it's NPL to bring it down. And another round for Na'Vi, up to 12. In this situation, G2, they, they saw the map. They saw Hoopsie on the other side, and they wanted to make sure that they give him a little bit of info to set up. But, oh, this one's coming fast. Perfecto, right there. Nico's able to find a trade with a nade. But... 
The fact that they got the nade kill on MPL is obviously huge. Oh, oh. it does! Check it! Monacy, absolutely sick. He has every clue. A little bit of spam coming over the top. Electronic just trying to stay alive back here. And Nico's so hungry oh. to get the kill. And that might have been not just hungry, but greedy. Monacy is trying to escape, but Electronic is on top of it. And the round is going to go to Na'Vi. They're just too far away. A round that you probably win like 70% of the time to maybe like 85%. It's a, it's a huge step in the right direction. But when you die instead, it swings so far back the other way. So the risk versus reward. Oh no, Navi. This could fall flat right at the end. This actually could be devastating. 18 seconds. The bomb is on the ground. They try to recover it. And down from the middle. Now it's going to be called out, but they can't escape. The spray is in from Electronic. Nico's already used two smokes and a Molotov over on this side. I think that's probably why Hooksy started to make his way back. That's the kill. Yeah. Hunter getting curious in the middle. This has been a death sentence for G2. These setups have not held up. No, they really haven't. And they know it as well. Monacy's going to be dropped. And now you've got to wonder, Navi, do they still want to go through with this? The best defended part of the map at the moment. 25 seconds. They are pushing through underneath Nico. The flash is so good. It doesn't even matter. This is going to be overtime. They found a way to shut it down. JKS not going to find anything. Yes, Navi. And that flash towards Nico. Absolutely brilliant. Here we go, overtime is in effect. No breaks on this one as they run up Nico again. And they time the whole Navi, this is getting really scary. 18 seconds, they're starting to make their way around the corner. <laughs> no scope, okay, I'm worried for nothing. They you don't know, especially in overtime, there could be another grenade left. There could be a Molotov inside of the A-bomb. Could be a fourth just, player there. There could be a fourth player there even. They're gonna be catching Hoaxie as well. Absolutely flawless work from Navi. For, for many. <laughs> Oh, they need something, but it's not going to be this round. Simple. That was a three stack at B to begin with. If they would have been a bit closer up, maybe they could have taken advantage and jumped straight onto the bomb site. They run into Monacy, and he will take down bits of a fortunate turn of events for G2. In some of these rounds, seems like he's just getting exact on, having to rotate, flashes in his face now. He's going to have to find something from this pit, not the spot you usually want for an op, but with a boy of this much skill, maybe it'll work. First kill onto NPL, smokes himself out, and actually... Fox running down low, JKS spotting it out, and that should be the call. Nico's walking up the middle. He knows that this is coming towards the A bomb site, so he's going to be here fast. And it doesn't stop simple, though. He's going to take down JKS. Monacy, they're about to be right on top of him. And I think he realized, gets the flick onto Perfecto and now pulls up the USP instead. Four seconds. He takes down Electronic and leaves simple all alone. Very he just can't take a sustained fight. And Hunter, smartly on top of the box, oh. is being red. Simple, he's one step ahead and he needs one more headshot. That was nearly it. Monacy, he must be feeling oh. the pressure. Simple, just is not. Doesn't matter what G2 call, who's alive. It's been all Navi all day, but Nico wants to fight back, but it's just a one for one. This hack at the kill on Simple and getting that trade, maybe it's worth it. It's better than Nico's been doing for some rounds. It feels like so many rounds, Nico's just been dead from the outset here. Monacy, he sees it, and that's enough. Perfecto not able to beat that one. He's going to be back into it quick. And now let's see if he could get one more flick in. That one wasn't it. 20 seconds left. The grenades, they don't do anything. He already saw it coming. He has a leg onto bit, but Electronic is still there to create another opening for his team. The wall bang, it is close, but not close enough to drop MPL. And now he's looking for the one tap on that AK. That was nearly it. Three on three. Flashes coming over the wall, and they want this round. They need this round on the G2 side. It's all Hunter, all the way at the end. This is one of those rounds earlier where they played slow and it backfired. This time, again, they're going very fast oh. with it. Bit and NPL, they are alone, but they're getting the job done somehow. Three versus five and plenty of time, and the rotation is in already. A three-man switch from banana into second to mid, and they're just getting picked apart. This is great. There's actually a bit of revenge from earlier when G came about. Nico, yeah, he's sitting in the library right now. He might get one, get one off guard, but no, actually, NPL takes him down. On the A-bomb side like that, that should be a winning formula for the T side. Well, G2 on the opposite side of the coin. They need two in a row to try and get into double overtime. Monacy is going to give them an opening here to bring Electronic down. Electronic has been out of in the recent months. Let's see what Simple could do. Gonna get that one easy shot, and with the Molotov already on the T side, he knows they're not gonna be able to just straight run him down. 
There is a Molotov on Hunter, so they could throw it back here. I think they might have done that. No, not yet. Smoke oh. is up. No scopes, Nico! Oh, no! 35 seconds. He almost stuck that gun right in Hunter's face, but instead, it's the AK to come out on top. That is so scary, though. And now from at range, Monacy, this is where he feels at home. No more nades on the Navi side, so they cannot dig up. They have what it takes. Actually, this could be a really sick timing. If they run down simple, this defense might be done, but it's easier said than it actually is oh. to do it at the moment. Nice crouch from Hunter will take down simple and alone inside of the bomb site. It's a solitary player from the Navi side. Hunter, a bit of a... Yeah, alone against three people that are coming. He's isolated in the corner and instantly dropped. Hunter was absolutely sure he wanted to get a double overtime. A series of mistakes, probably, to allow Perfecto and MPL to get back into this round. A little bit of a peek. The timing is great. And Nico will tap it away. It is Perfecto, the last one alive. G2. And this time at the hands of Hunter. Getting the round and getting into double overtime. That must be a huge relief. Simple. Wants to peek down mid. Early banana pressure. Nico naded down to 52. Has a gap right here with this smoke. This might actually catch them off guard. Electronic not actually aware of that. Okay, opener. Find G2 towards banana. Perfecto, okay. He's trying to get on top of these oranges. And Nico's reading that. He wants to keep pressing on forward. He's right there. Perfecto's butt to Nico and simple. He's trying to collect the situation right now. There is no smoke for CT until, <laughs> until now to get that kill. Obviously, everyone was blind, but that is so sick. Nico, he really got shut down in regulation on Banana. He could not find that kind of entry, but in double overtime, he is there. Hooksy, blind or not, he's gonna get that kill. And finally, Simple is there, but it is too late now. A bomb far ticked, it is a 2 one three, and I think even Simple has to admit, this one's not gonna be happening. Uh, they're hunting him oh. down. They want to take that away. That's sufficient, even if they lose a couple of more players at the end. But none of them have smokes to stop the Molotovs. So if they actually throw good Molotovs here, G2, especially if they were boosting, that was my real worry. They're going to be flashing their way through. And Electronic, nice oh, no, they line up this. instantly worked. They're not checking Perfecto, but Hoaxi, he is the third man on the site, and he's still able to get the shot. That's super important. Through the smoke, though. It's a bit to find JKS for some odd reason. 25 seconds and a three on three. And look at how far away they are on the minimap. The it's a triple crossfire between Hooksy, Monacy, and Nico. And Monacy, he's in his favorite spot. Yeah, <laughs> he is. And once again, maybe they have a smoke, but not much else. They can't easily get rid They're already backing away. G2 is taking a long break, but in double OT, they seem to have found a little bit of a groove again. The question is if they could escape with what they have. The AK is going to be denied. The rest will go up with the bomb, but 20 to K with clear banana. It's all good, and then Hooksy nearly broke through. The flash will definitely get the job done. It almost counts as a double here. I'm pretty sure that he did. He's thinking about it. He's got to make sure no one else is nearby. There's the flash, and there's the setup. It's so sick. Three versus five in the back of the bomb site. Electronic low from earlier. His earlier fight against Hooksy was an issue. 27 seconds. So even if the bomb stops here, it should still be recoverable. Nico making sure the bit cannot join. And now Electronic, the hunt is on. Hooksy continuing what he started. A to take top banana. And then he sneaks in. And then there's another flash to set up Hooksy. And Hooksy just kills Simple. They had finally broken G2, and it was going to be another one of these games to add to the long string of games that G2 have lost after being up so far. Nico winning the fight earlier against Perfecto, and that's such an encouraging sign for G2. This is the kind of strength they need. Oh, Monacy. Oh, what? <laughs> a headshot <laughs> through the wall? Oh, no. Simple. Didn't even get a chance at that one. This kid right here, Monacy, he'll be continue to be tested. He doesn't have to see his opponents, Anders. He takes another life. And JK, yes, this is a freebie. Bit lurking out in desperation. One kill away. And G2, they have survived the storm. NPL, the rookie himself, trying to get his team back into this one. But it's hopeless. It's, it's Monacy in the back of the site. He might get another blind kill right here in just a moment. But... NPL is still pushing on forward, finds the tag, and the swing is there. Nico, G2.